Hello, you guys. I know my nails are horrendous. They're like a hot hooligan mess. <laughs> okay, so you guys, this is a little bit of an update. I've been dabbling in clay, and I really, really like it so far. Um, I'm not good at it at all. <laughs> this is just the truth. Um, but I'm, I'm. This is my third attempt at making different stuff, and I'm gonna try and remember everybody's names so that I can give credit where credit's due. Okay, so this is just my own creation. I'm a little upset because that my paint pan, I like think one of my kids like busted in the room and I looked to the side and I accidentally did that. So yeah. But anyway, the mouth is my fault. I was actually paying attention and that happened. <laughs> but yeah, there's my little heart. And I just made it myself and gave her a little a little heart bow or X and or whatever. Hopefully I'll get better at this. So that's that. And then I made this cupcake. And I know you guys before everybody were like, what in God's name? Remember, this is just my third try and this is my first try ever trying to do a cupcake. I'm gonna like next time I'm not gonna make it so and if you guys know anybody who has really good tutorials and that are easy on this stuff, please leave leave a comment and give me their names because I want to see their stuff and the reason why that's lopsided like that is because I had an eye pin in there but it came out so I'm just gonna like use my E6000 and because these are already baked I'm gonna put my E6000 in there and then I'm gonna I guess use this that Sculpey glaze glaze, gla glaze or whatever and glaze it so this is my cupcake and then I went on um, Jellyfish Charms, that's her name on YouTube. I went on her website and I saw this because a friend of mine, um, Chicka Meower, she um, did a, a thing where she did these and they used uh, paper clips. You stick paper clips, but I don't have any paper clips in my house, so this is pretty much, you can see like my hand print right there. I don't know how I did that. I didn't notice until I baked it, but whatever. Hopefully when I glaze it, it won't be so bad. But this is my very first try. So, yeah, of course, as usual, I'm not happy about any. <laughs> I just, I don't know what's wrong with me, you guys. I see stuff and I'm like, I want it to look like the way it's supposed to look. And I don't like it when it looks like something else. So, yeah. So that's what. But this is my first try at Rilakkuma. Uh oh, they're rolling away. And then I saw this tutorial for um, At Home with Cindy for the octopus. And so I tried it. And I like it for the most part. The part I don't like is the fact that my, my poor little octopus's legs are not the same size. It's kind of hard to get all those balls the same size. And... I baked it at 275, like it said, and I put it on foil on a cookie sheet. Now, I didn't put it directly on my cookie sheet because my cookie sheet is almost shot. It's like, ew. So I always cook stuff on it, but I use foil so it doesn't actually touch that the catastrophe that is my cookie sheet. So, but then this happened, and I didn't leave it for more than 15 minutes, like it says. So, does this happen every time you bake resin, or, I mean, not resin, but clay? And if not, what did I do wrong? You guys who do the clay stuff, I don't, I don't know. So, just let me know, or whatever. And, um, yeah. So, that's her. Yeah. So, those are my, my charms. I have to glaze them still. And I don't really know how to do that. I'm going to have to look and see if it's the same. I don't know what, what you do, how you glaze it. But um, I wanted to talk about a couple of things, and, I'm, and I promise I'll only take a couple of minutes to bring it up. But um, there's been a lot of stuff I've been seeing going on on YouTube lately. A lot of crap that's been going on in people's lives. Um, a few videos that I've seen put up about different things, and um, I I have an opinion about that stuff. 
um, there's one lady on here, and I'm not going to name any names. You guys will, who see these videos, you know who they are. But for some of the newbie people who are coming in, I don't want you guys commenting about these things if you don't really know these people or if you don't seriously frequent their channels. Um, one lady lost a really close family member, and um, she's been having a really hard time getting things together and get, getting, you know, everything finalized with that. Um, that's sad to me because uh, I, I wish I do, I wish I was like a millionaire because then I could like, I don't know, I like fix everybody's problems. I don't know. <laughs> Not that money fixes everything, but uh, I hate to see people upset and I hate to see people hurt and I really hate it when people are upset and hurt because of something another person has done to them. We are all human beings, and I know by genetic makeup, all of us want to be happy. All of us, you know, wish for our own happiness and that we all be successful and stuff or whatever. What do you get out of stepping on top of other people in order to get the things that you want. I just don't understand that. I can't comprehend it. I don't under, I don't get it. I don't know why I don't know why you can have people live with themselves after they do stuff like that. Like, you know, I I hate to cut people off on the highway. I mean, you know, like I'm literally all day thinking, crap, I hope I didn't like really totally screw up those people's day or something. But um, yeah, you know, rethink it. You younger people, rethink it. Rethink the words that come out of your mouth. Rethink the actions that you do. It is it affects the people around you. And what people don't tell young people sometimes is your actions, your words have a ripple effect. You know, like me dropping a pebble in the water and is nothing. It's the ripples that come from that pebble that drops in the water that, you know, has the most effect on the things around it. You, Your words hurt this one person, might hurt one person, and then what you say to them affects the way they act to the next person and the next person and so on and so on. So you just saying something bad or rude about somebody is not just one thing where you say something horrible about somebody and then it's over. That that is not the way the universe rolls. You everything you do has an effect on somebody and you don't know how far or how negative that effect can be. So you need to be really careful about those types of things. And then another video I saw of somebody and she is like totally heartbroken because her dreams have been dashed away from her. You know, her the things that she wanted to accomplish in life feel like it's an unattainable goal right now. And I know what that's like, you know, I know what it's like to feel like you're running towards something and you just get so close that you can almost feel it at the tip of your fingertips and then have that hope or, you know, that dream dashed away from you. That is, that is devastating and, and, it, and, it, and it leaves so little of you behind. And, you know, my heart goes out to people who have dealt with that, but my advice to you, because I've had to deal with that a lot, and I, I can definitely give you some examples when life has been like that, but when those things happen to you, those are the moments when you grow the most, and I know it sucks to hear somebody say that to you. It really seriously sucks, because you can't see that light at the end of the tunnel, but I am here to tell you, it is still there. It's still there. Um, it's faint. And the darkness around you makes it cloudy and foggy. You can't see it. But um, that's when you lean on the people who care and love you the most. And um, and I hope you got people like that in your life. And if you don't, hey, I'm open. PM me or just, you know, find me on Facebook. <laughs> Anywhere. Find me. I want to help you. I want to listen to your problems. I want to tell you everything's going to be okay because they are. And if you don't have anybody who's willing to do that, honey, you know, hey, I, I love you. And I count it a blessing and an honor to sit and listen and be that person who can, you know, kind of show you where that light is when you come to the end of that tunnel and when you're deep in the darkness. 
So keep your head up. Never give up the fight. Never give up on your dreams. I don't care if it seems like, you know, there is no way. There's always a way. There's always a way. Always, always, always. You know, whether you have faith in something or whether you are atheist and you don't or you just don't know, hey, you know, all of that aside, things, life is just so random and you never know what the next second is going to hold. You know, me, I've got my faith. So, I believe things are going to be better because I believe that, you know, my creator has a um, plan, a positive plan for my life. And my faith in that helps me to make it to the next step. If you don't believe in that, you need to believe in yourself. You know, you are amazing and you can do it. You can do it. You say it to yourself. So my my motto is you tell yourself that every day, all day, until you believe it. You can do it. You don't know how you're going to do it. You don't know where the help is going to come, but you can do it. You can do it. So I know this turned out to be a lot longer, and I'm sure I lost, like, more than a couple people in the middle of this video, but, um, yeah, my encouraging rant for the for the day just... Jeez, I'm telling you guys, I've been through a lot of crap. And if you want to know what it's all about, I will definitely do a video and tell you about all the mess that I've had to go through. But that where I can qualify to tell you this. But, you know, it heartfelt. This is from the heart. And I'm telling you, you, you know, hey, you can do this. Life, life does not end here. Life does not end here. It begins here, and it's all up to you. So, <sighs> that off my chest, because I, I, I saw some stuff today that really, really crushed me, because I feel bad when people are hurting. And um, I don't know if they'll ever see these videos. Um, I don't even know if they've subbed or subbies, but if you know them and you have an idea that I'm talking about them, hey, I'm, and tell them, hey. I've got a message for him, and, um, yeah. So, <clears throat> this ended up being way longer than I thought, <laughs> but I felt like it was something that needed to be said, and I hope you guys have a just fantastic day. If your day is crap, I pray that it gets better, honey. I really do to all you, each to each and his own, those people who have issues that you don't put on YouTube, to you too. You know, love, hugs, all that jazz. So, skimmerinky-dinky-dink, uh, skimmerinky-doo. I mean it, and I can <laughs> my God, I wish I could show you, but I do. I really love you guys. Have a blessed day. Bye.